Hello and welcome, I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. So I mentioned in a previous video that I was going to record the whole process involved with creating a, uh, a new mod, the one for the difficulty settings of CK2. So I'm going to do that now. Um, I haven't really prepared for this, so there's going to be some stuff that may get cut from the video, but I what I'd prefer to do is just record the whole thing and then then you know you can watch what you want. But um, I do want to get a little bit of music going, just because I like to have that going on in the background. So we'll do that. Um, let's see. So when I go into like mod mode, one thing I like to do is I, I change the settings on um, Arc Shader Kings 2. So it's a little bit easier for me to get in and out of the game. First off, um, just so I can record while doing it, we'll turn off full screen mode. And then instead of playing at 1080p, um, I'm just going to run the game in a smaller window, like say 1280 by uh, 720. Should work. And then let's check it out, just to make sure that that's working how I want. Yeah, it's just a smaller box. Actually going to get a little bit of overlap of music if I have music on. It's just large enough that I can, I can test the mod without having to go in and out and in and out. And the game's not going to run very well in this windowed mode, but um, at least I can do it. So... That's good. All right, so let's go into modding. So we need to start off by creating a new mod. These are all the mods that I have kind of like installed, so to speak, right now. I'm not really using any of them um, except for Ransom All, No Hassles, NBT. I guess I use half of them. I was considering playing CK2 Plus because the uh, person who's making CK2 Plus is no longer maintaining it past patch 1.103. So this would be a good time to actually play it making sure that I get to enjoy it, but uh, let's go ahead and start. This is all that it does. I mean, if you haven't seen the make how to make a mod video yet, then you're going to probably be surprised to see how simple it is to create a mod. So we're going to call this, um, I don't know, Better Difficulty. And, I'm, and I can always change that later, it doesn't really matter. Better Difficulty. There we go. Now, so we've got an empty folder. We need to create a mod file. Um, I could do it by actually creating it, but it's just simpler to create a copy of an existing one. One of the things that I learned in engineering school is that almost always you're better off copy pasting from other resources than starting from scratch. You always use something as a template, right? If someone's already made something and it works, then the likelihood of there being a mistake in your code or in your setup is very, very likely. So if you copy paste from something else and then modify it to fit your needs, it just, it's better. So. You'll find I tend to do things like that a lot. So we want to, um, I'm not doing any of that, I'm creating a copy. And then we're going to rename it to, same thing, what it was, uh, better difficulty. I like this music a lot. When I was watching the first episode of the, uh, the sped up version of Hungary, the Piper Hungary, so to speak, I really liked how like five minutes into the first video, this bad, badass music came on during all the major conquests. It was really cool. So this is still referring to the other path because uh, I copy pasted it from somewhere else. But again, that I can use that as a reference. So the name of this mod is not that; it's better difficulty. And the path is not there; it's here. So basically, that takes care of it. We have a fu we have a functional mod now. Um, that's really all there is to it. However, this mod does nothing. So. What i like to do next is let's go ahead and pull up our CK2 installation directory. Should be for me in my Steam Apps folder. And so here's all the game files for CK2. And what I'm going to first do is, um, since I'm not really 100% sure of the things I need to change, again, I haven't really researched this, I'm just going to copy the common folder into my new mod. The entire thing. Oh, not clear combat. And that might take a second. I don't really know how many game files there are. Oh, apparently it's already done. Not very many. And then I'm actually going to go through and... Um, here's an easy way to do it. Well, we'll just leave everything in here for now. So, if I were to launch the mod right now and turn it on, instead of using the files that are in this common folder, it's going to use the files that are in my common folder, which, for the moment, are the exact same. So there's no change from the base game, and I'll have the same checksum. But now I can start making adjustments to this and go from there. So... First off, let's um, let's do this. I want to create a uh, 
just a new text document that I can use for my own notes. Things I want to do. So, scope the mod. Four difficulty settings. I've got very easy, easy, normal, hard, very hard. And we want this to be minus uh, plus 20 opinion. We want this to be plus 10. Normal. Minus 10 opinion. And minus 20 opinion. Things to do. So, in order to do that, um, I'm just kind of thinking out loud here. I'm gonna want to. I'm gonna want to basically copy Saeed trait, since I know that that kind of works the way that I want. Um, I'm also going to need to consider uh, an icon, and then, um, hmm. One thing I was thinking is I would. It makes sense to me that definitely the player character needs to to have this trait, right? That's going to increase or decrease opinion from everyone else on the map. But it also would make sense to me that it should be an inheritable trait that everyone in the dynasty gets. That would be what makes the game harder, is that you know you land your brother and other people plot against him more too, because he's related to the player. He's not just some random AI character like everyone else. He's actually related to your dynasty. So he should get the trait too, which is one of the reasons why the Saeed feature makes a lot of sense to me. Um, I would need, I'm going to have to use a placeholder icon at first, and I might go into actually creating an icon's pain in the ass, so I don't really want to do it. Um, I guess maybe it's not that big of a problem, I just I don't know how to do it off the top of my head. So, Okay, so let's first off, we'll use um, we use Notepad++ to, to help us out with this, so we're going to go back into our common directory, make sure that we're in the better difficulty mod, and I can just open any one of these files, and then I can go Control shift f to find in files, and I want to find Saeed. And we don't want to replace anything, I want to search inside everything within that common folder, and then just say find all. Found 15 hits, these are the places where it's mentioned, so Saeed is a name apparently for the Maghreb Arabic culture. We also have the trait here, um, landed titles. Apparently, in order to to have this place, the cal caliphate, you have to be a Sayyid or Mirza and have at least a thousand piety. This is all just related to the trait; doesn't actually define the trait. This uses Sayyid as a modifier on what? What is this all about? Oh, it's a lot of modifiers. Creation weight of a title. Alright, so this is uh, whether they should actually create some title in the game. I'm not sure which. doesn't matter. It's not really related to what we're doing. Okay, Saeed. Okay, so Muslim agnatically descended from Muhammad. So this is where it um, says agnatic equals yes, meaning that it's always inherited from fathers. So, I don't want it to be always inherited from fathers. I want it to be always inherited, period. So this might not be what I want. Um, Although, what's the opposite to Saeed? There was a child of a Saeed mother. Mirza, there we go. Hard-coded to be passed on from Saeed trait. Huh. Well, maybe that's not going to work. Well, it's possible that Agnatic, if, it, if Agnatic works for Saeed, then maybe Agnatic-Cognatic would work for both. There's really no guarantee that that would work, but at the very least, we could get it working based on father to thought, um, from fathers to sons. The other thing I could do, um, see, the reason I want to do this is I don't want the game to really lag. I don't want it to be a big drain on system resources, and it's just a very, very simple mod. And um, by using the Saeed trait as a template, I can make it so that the character inherits it, and then it, that's it. No other calculations happen, it's just automatic. The other way to do it would be through events, which would have a pulsating event that would check the status of characters every, say, 10 to 20 days or whatever, and then flag them as characters who match the description, and then they'd get the trait. 
The problem is that then every 10 to 15 days or whatever, the game has to run some stuff to make it work. So this this seems simpler to me, but I don't know if it'll actually... The more I'm looking at it, I'm not really 100% sure it'll work. So... Um... So we're in the traits file. Let's just create a new trait then. So... We're going to call it um, Game Difficulty. Got to use the right file formats and stuff. Let's start off with Magnetic Eels, yes, just to test it. We don't need that part. Um, opposites we don't need. And uh, did that music get louder? I had, had I turned that up at some point? Nope, apparently not. I just... Uh, Never understood why this thing won't let me go in equal single 1% increments there. Um, let's see, so... I might need to make four separate modifiers, and I can call them all game difficulty on the tooltip, but I'll have to have different traits, technically. It'll be four different traits. So let's go with... Um, um, game difficulty very easy. And opinion equals 20. Okay, so we've got four new traits then. Game difficulty very easy, game difficulty easy, game difficulty hard, game difficulty very hard. They are all inherited through their fathers. Um, I might need to make a single pulsating event to assign that to the player when you first start the game. And that might work. Okay, well, at the very least, let's uh, let's get the trait in the game, and then we can use the ruler designer to to apply it that way, just to test it a bit. So that'll work there. So let's save that file. Um, again, I'm only saving the file that's in the mod folder. I'm not saving the game, like the actual game directory. That would be a bad idea. Okay, from there, so that just creates the trait, right? But we need to do all of the text localization. We need to do other stuff. So I want to find out more places where it says Saeed. Um, in fact, we should probably expand the search to the entire Crusader Kings 2 folders, because I don't think that that's everything. I think there's more to it than that. Steam? Let's just search all of the CK2 folder for Saeed. This will take a little bit longer because it's actually trying to search through the EXE and everything. Which is kind of messy, but... That's okay. I must know. I'll admit, I'm kind of teaching myself how to do this as we go. I've never done any trait modifications before. Everything I've done is just related to you know, keyboard shortcuts and copying some graphic interfaces and stuff and mess around with that. But um, I got 322 hits this time. This is in the change log. That's fine. Cultures.txt, that's again the name file. So it's finding the first ones we found before. Um, using this as a modifier on a certain event. Something that removes it. Denounce the child, removes Saeed. Okay. Interesting Muslims. Okay, well, whatever. Since I care more about what this is, we're going to go down here. 
This is in the history file, so we don't care about that. We don't care about the... I don't care about the history anywhere. It's telling you, like, telling the game which characters are going to be born, like, having that, or which ones, when you load the game up, will have it. Uh, this is the common separated values file in the localization folder, so this is where they define def dev uh, events that have the word Saeed in them. And then this is where Saeed itself gets translated into Saeed, 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 Saeed for the different languages that the game comes playable in. We don't really care about that. Saeed description, this is the character patrilineally descended from the games. Okay, so where is this file? Where, where is this one located? They've got this in patch 1.06.csv, which was in the localization folder. So that is something I'm going to want to modify. Um, I think I'm actually going to I'm going to trim this mod down already, so that I don't get so I don't forget. We had added in game difficulty into 01 underscore traits dot text, which was in the traits folder, I believe. Yeah, so that's fine. Um, you know what would make more sense, actually? Yeah, that's a good idea. I want to create a new... Alright. I'm just going to create a new file for my, mod, my traits so that I don't have to worry about having any of the other stuff in here. So 01 traits was this one. We're going to put this into here. Like that. And then we can go back to 01 traits and remove that. And let's just make sure we don't have to have anything else. Okay, so no, it's just... Yeah, that's all fine. Okay. So we've got it in there now, which means that I can actually get rid of everything else from this folder. Which will just allow the game to, um... I do want to keep the hierarchy, though. The folder hierarchy, in case we need to use anything else. So the easiest way I've found to do that is to cut... If you cut the folder and then paste it somewhere else, when you go back into it, it leaves behind empty and em empty folders. So that's good. And then we'll take from there the better difficulty file, put it back in there, and then we'll delete the rest of that. Alright, so mod better difficulty common it has empty folders to maintain the file hierarchy if we need to add anything else in. And we've got a single file that defines the new traits that we've added to the games. Now we don't want to keep these files in editor since I've deleted and moved them. Um, so next up then, we needed to create a new .csv file to, to define those difficulty settings. So, uh, which one shall we use as a template? We'll go back to the actual CK2 folder, go to localization. Mm, let's just copy the whole thing. Copy the localization folder now. We're only going to need one of these as a as a template. So we'll just use say uh, what the heck sort of Islam. Actually, let's just use a really small one because I don't really want to. We'll use the ruler designer as a template. We can delete all these, and the game's going to still load them from the actual game. We'll re re rename this one to better com uh, not better combat, better difficulty. Now it's going to try to open up with Microsoft Excel just because of my a computer's file file type associations, but I actually want to open it up with Notepad because it's simpler for me to read that way. And now the reason it's important to use templates for this is notice how these little these little things are here. There's a specific number of them followed by an X. This is for all the different languages in the game. So if I just create a couple lines and it doesn't have enough of those things, it can get messed up. So um, I don't want that. And apparently there's no header. Oh, there it is. See, actually there is code, English, French, German, Spanish, and then whatever all those are, I don't really know. So we can delete everything below that, though. Oh, shoot. 
Like I said, we can delete everything below that. But I want to keep the rest of that there. And then, um, now we're going to take these. So we're going to say... We need to find that. We need to find this one. That one. And this one. And actually... I think I do want to pull up that, uh... Ah, shoot, see, I, I let it rope. <laughs> I don't want, see, I don't want to excel. I want you to open up with notepad. I'm going to use one of these as a template. So we'll just go like this. Okay, and, um... I don't actually care for it to to have other languages. That's not going to matter to me. But I just want to maintain the number of semicolons. And then where it says appearance, I want it to say for So this is the this is the hover tooltip when you hover over the trait in the game. So I want this to say um, what? I really just want it to say game difficulty. in all three spots, or all four spots. I, I want it to be the same, I don't want it to remind the character constantly um, what difficulty setting they're on, and it's just going to modify the trait scores. Alright, so that's good. Let me get rid of all this stuff again. Okay, so we've copied from the Saeed trait, we have not considered an icon, so it'll be interesting to see what the game does if we just fire it up right now, but let's give it a shot. It might just have a, a no icon thing, or it might just not work at all. Lots of trial and error. Even the best coders on the planet have to bug test. No one ever makes anything perfectly the first time. If you do, there's actually a whole bunch of uh, comics and stuff online about you know, if you actually manage to, to, to get code to fire up and work properly the very first time, it makes you question what the heck happened. Something must be wrong. So let's see if we can find that trait in the ruler designer. If it, it's considered a, a listed trait. Yeah, there they are. So game difficulty. They cost nothing because I haven't programmed that part in. Um, game difficulty very easy underscore descript. So see, that's not working properly. Apparently I miss... I did not do that right. In the... Uh, Shader Kings 2, mod better good difficulty localization. Okay. So let's let's go back to um This music is not gonna work out for me. But I don't want to change it because I have it set to appropriate levels. So let's just mute this for a while. Okay, so let's see, what did I do wrong? We're in the actual CK2 directory. Let's go back into common. Let's find Saeed again. In fact, actually I don't even need to do that. It's still got it still got it pulled up. So they did Saeed underscore description. Alright, well let's see what happens if we add that on. Maybe I'm just foolish, and I made a small mistake there. Alright, so let's try again. This is why I like to have it in, in uh, windowed mode, because you can just close and fire it up real quick and simple. Hmm. Now I wouldn't be surprised if some of the people who are watching this, if you're, you know, if you are watching this right now, which uh, is cool, I wouldn't be surprised at all if some of you are better at coding than I am. And hey, if, if you've got suggestions, then feel free. Oh shoot, I forgot to do the root designer. Um, then feel free to let me know, because you know I just do this for fun. I, I went to school. I went to engineering school. We did some engineering coding. 
but it's not part of what I do. I'm in financial advising and insurance, so I enjoyed it a lot in college. I just didn't do anything with it, so. Okay, so we're going to check out the traits again. Just, yep, so it's just game difficulty. So let's say we give ourselves the very easy game difficulty trait. No trait list, nothing pops up, but we do have it. I'm almost sure because it, you can't select it again. And I bet if we remove all traits, there it is again, yep. Okay, so we, we technically have the trait. Let's see what happens if we load up the game. Dude, it's not working. If it was, we would expect to see that plus 20 opinion. I think that that's that trait right there. Let's see what happens again if we do... If we give ourselves one of those traits followed by another trait, see if there's like a place in the trait list where it's blank. And it could be something as simple as not having an icon preventing it from working. I really don't know. So we give ourselves an, a series of traits. So I'm predicting that between the education trait and the other traits there's going to be a gap. Yeah, right there. No trait. And again, we aren't seeing that modifier. They like the fact that I'm a Faki, though, whatever the heck that is. Liege is Faki. Oh, that's right, we haven't even assigned the... Uh, Hmm. Okay. So, traits.gfx is the folder where these traits are signed. Texture file is saeed.tga. So that's where they actually are borrowing the icons. So for now, let's use the saeed still as a template. So this is the traits.gfx in the actual game directory. So I don't want to. I don't want to do anything with that. But let's find that some music going again. So traits.gfx in the interface folder. So again we're going to want to copy paste the entire interface folder into the mod folder. Got rid of all the other localization stuff. And actually this one doesn't really have a file hierarchy so I don't need to worry about it. We're going to sort by type. We're going to find traits.gfx, traits.gfx, and we're going to select all except for that one and delete and remove. That's the only one I actually want to modify. So now we're in the mods trait.gfx file. So this is where it's defining the sprites, gfx trait amateurish plotter. Then it, then it picks the tga file in the gfx underscore traits amateurish plotter.tga. I don't have to actually create a new trait. What I can do is I can just steal it from the Saeed one. So we find where Saeed is. It's apparently line 960. I could copy paste from either one actually. But um, we're just going to grab that. I'm going to copy it. We're copying directly from the actual... This is from the better difficulty file, so we're fine. We're going to go all the way down to the bottom then, and right here we'll put an extra one. We're going to call this GFX trait, and we'll need four of these actually. It's going to be what is it going to be called? It's going to show you. Do 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 do. Um. Okay. So I got game difficulty very easy. We need to change that to these ones. I'm not even 100% sure this is going to work. 
Remember, I'm teaching myself how to do this as I go. But I'm pretty sure we'll figure it out eventually. That's essentially how my strategy works for most things and things like this. Like, making keyboard shortcuts was just a ton of trial and error. Um, experimenting with what they were. Okay, so, effect file. I don't know what any of that stuff means. Um, no referral, no ref count, yes. One frame. So now we can go to the, if we want to check it out, the gfx traitsai.tga file. We can see what it's referring to, which intuitively we're going to know. Um, it's the uh, gfx traits Saeed. And I'm okay with it copying the Saeed trait for now. We can always work on creating a, an alternative later. But this is going to be, you know, that's the icon. And uh, I don't believe... Yeah, it does have an, it's got an alpha layer too, which is annoying. I hate alpha layers. Um, but okay, so that's that. And so, let's go ahead and save it. And let's give it a shot. So basically, assuming I did that properly, which I probably didn't, um, we've just assigned the Saeed trait icon to all four of those difficulty settings. So hopefully, if it's working properly, there will be an icon now, but it will be the wrong icon which is still better than no icon. You know, we're moving in the right direction. That kind of thing. There we go. So we got the Saeed icon for that, so we'll do that one. We can see it. Alright, so now we've got a hover tool tip, which is good. Game difficulty, very easy. Game difficulty. I don't believe that whether or not it has an icon actually affects the modifiers of the court. No, it's not. See, it's still not actually working, but we do have game difficulty very easy. It's a trait. And assuming that we um, kind of coded the trait properly, it should, following the Saeed trait, it should be inheritable through men. I would prefer for it to be inheritable through men and women, but for now, at the very least, um, it could function. Maybe. We just have to actually make it work. Now, what's curious to me is um, the fact that the Saeed trait itself had, it was a little bit different. It was, um, I really don't like having no music. <laughs> I have to have music on. Um, I don't know why I closed that folder earlier. Okay, so it was under the traits folder, and it was oh, one traits, and it was Saeed. See, it, it was a little bit different. It was, um... It had Muslim underscore opinion. And and I know that this one worked. And this is this part right here is what defines the opinion of other characters. Um, so for some reason, Muslim underscore opinion is a, is a working modifier but my just flat opinion is not. So, let's see if we can find, um, maybe in one of these other trait folders, like the original. Let's find in this file, where it says opinion. Vassal opinion, minus 25, okay. Same opinion. So I'm guessing just the flat opinion thing won't work. It's not a defined thing in the game engine. But we could use vassal opinion. Let's see if we can find one like, um, what's something that everyone respects? Not everyone respects, let's see, attractive is same only, but affects everyone on the map. I think that's the problem, I don't think, uh, interesting. Sex appeal, opinion, same opinion. Hmm, I don't, I don't know. Actually, I don't know if there are any traits that affect everyone on the map. Oh no, there are. There's got to be illnesses and things. Aren't there? Well, let's just go through here so we can find a vassal opinion, same, same opinion, church opinion. 
church opinion. Same opinion if same religion. Same religion. Oh, I know what I could maybe do. I could use... Um, if there's a different religion opinion and a same religion opinion, I could just use both of those and that would affect everyone on the map. So, same, 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 vassal, same. Let's check this real quick. Let's search for different. Nope. Alright, come on, let's find something. Opposites, churches, yep, yep, yep. It's also possible maybe I could just define one of these things somewhere. Liege opinion. I definitely think it should apply to the whole map. I just, I mean, I think that part of the difficulty would be that if if you're trying to plot against like a Muslim and you're a Christian, that the other people in his court should like you less, making it even harder for you to get people to join your plot. So I want to make it work on the whole map. It's important. Infidel opinion. That's it. That's why it's not called different. Infidel is anyone other than you. So let's use that. We're going to use infidel and opinion if same religion. Perfect. Same opinion if same religion. No, that's not what I want. I want infidel opinion. Wait a minute. Zealous is a trait that you have. Makes infidels like you by 50 less. Yeah, that's fine. We can use that. Okay, so we're going to go here, we're going to replace Opinion with Infidel Opinion, and we're going to also go back up to, uh, it was like Same Religion, I think. Yeah, Same Religion Opinion. And very easy was positive 20. And then from here we can just go like this. And this was 10 and 10, negative 10, negative 10. Okay, so now we're saying, all right, if you're on game difficulty, very easy. Infidels, people who don't believe what you believe, will have a plus 20 opinion of you. Same religion will have a plus 20 opinion of you. So maybe this will work. I don't, I don't know. Let's find out. Logically, it should make sense to me. Let's see, what would be a good icon for game difficulty? Maybe there's an unused icon in the game we could just steal? Or maybe there's a better... Maybe there is an icon that represents difficulty. Alright, so we're going to give ourselves one of those attributes again. We'll, uh, ah, interesting, so these actually cost points. That is not really intended, but an interesting side effect. That's kind of cool, actually. So, like, if you choose a low get a low difficulty, it costs age, but it's a permanent effect. So, interesting. Okay, so we've got game difficulty very easy. Let's just fire it up with just a single single trait. Okay, and what do we got? Hey, game difficulty very easy plus twenty. Perfect. The mod works. It's functioning. Works here. Let's check Muslims. How do you feel about me, bro? Doesn't work. Hmm. Why doesn't it work? Your opinion of me is negative 24. You think I'm an infidel. 
Okay, so what's working is the same religion modifier. The infidel one is not. This does look funny. Well, at least we're moving in the right direction. So game difficulty very easy. It's very, very likely that the easy and hard and very hard are all functioning also since they're the exact same. Um, I do think that this icon should get changed since Saeed is used quite frequently. So let's take a quick look around. Um, that's an easy thing to fix. So let's just go... Let's pick one that's different. That way we don't have to worry about it later. Let's go through the traits file. <clears throat> in the graphics folder. And traits. And let's see if we can find one that's not used. I know that there was... There's one for sure that's not used. And that's the... Uh, Pilgrim trait. It's just not used in game. So we could use this. I mean it. Um, let's let's try something. Let's try something like this. Let's just check out uh, game difficulty symbol. We'll do an image search of game difficulty and see if we can find something that kind of is representative of game difficulty. Something that seems to represent difficulty. If nothing jumps out at me right away... Ha! Huh, picture a dwarf fortress. That's funny. <laughs> you can put that for very hard. That is good. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I don't know about that. I don't know about actually creating an icon. It seems like a lot of extra work. And it doesn't really do anything. It's not like people are going to be hovering over the trait constantly. In fact, you'll probably forget it's there. So yeah, forget about that. We're going to just use the, uh, we're going to use the pilgrim trait. And the pilgrim trait was pilgrim.dds. And if we go back to this. And where were we again? Here, game difficulty traits Saeed and we want to just change that to oh interesting for some reason it was the Saeed dot something it's saying Saeed dot TGA but it's actually Saeed dot DDS ah whatever let's just try it let's see what happens Can there be a shortcut key to pause Winamp? I think there should be. Why is the non-religion not working? Doesn't make sense to me. They are infidels. Maybe it's because I used Zealous as the template, and Zealous is kind of a... Yeah, there we go. So we've changed the icon. That's so simple. Um, actually... That's probably a bad thing. Let's do this. I have an idea. I don't like the idea that somebody could accidentally choose multiple at once. That's, that's really weird. So let's... Uh, Let's pause that for a second there. We'll close out of this thing. We don't need that. Um, I remember in these files we had seen... Okay, so we're all done with traits. I think we're pretty good on traits. We're all done with the localization. Mm. It was in here. Opposites. So uh, we're going to make it so that you can only have one of these at a time. Opposites are... Must have music. Opposites are...
Oops. Apparently it's time for me to wake up. <laughs> it's funny. I always get up way, way, way before my alarm says I'm supposed to. Alright, I actually want that to be in one level. Okay. And unfortunately this is going to take a little bit of micro to, uh, not micro, but a little bit of work to get to work how I want, because each one's different. Okay, so the opposites of very easy would be easy, hard, very hard. The opposites of easy need to be very easy, hard, and very hard. The opposites of hard need to be very easy, easy, and very hard. And the opposites of very hard need to be very easy, easy, and hard. So one more cursory review here, let's check it out. So if you are playing as very easy, then you cannot have easy, very hard, very hard. If you're playing as easy, you cannot have very easy, hard, or hard. I think that looks right. Alright, so let's give it a shot. Oh crap, why did I just close that? Shoot. Well, it happens. Fortunately, Notepad++ will remember all those files, but still. It's still just kind of annoying when you accidentally close things that are important. Alright, so now we go into the ruler designer, we pick a trait, what happens if we click, see the other ones are gone now, because you can't pick, can't pick more than one at a time, so that's good. Alright, so game difficulty very easy has been selected, we got the pilgrim trait, um, let's just do a quick check, pretty easy to check, just make sure that the, uh, these are still working, yeah, that's still working, you know, I'd say it's a, it's a functional beta already, just, just having your own characters, your own religion, feel the same way about you is fine. Um, but now we have to work on getting alternative religions. Okay, see, that's really good. So they're Catholic. Like the Carlings, they should all like us by 20 more, because the game difficulty very easy. And then these guys, they're just, they still, still not affected by it. So that's where we're going to have to figure that next part out. Okay, so this infidel opinion thing doesn't work. Is infidel only applicable when they're zealous? That must be the problem. I bet that's it. All right, so we got to go back into Let's go back into the base CK2 thing and let's search for traits 001 because it's got everything in it. Oh, I think I already had that open actually. I don't care about that one anymore. And let's just search the opinion modifiers again. Same sex, nope, 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 nope. You know what one is that there is a modifier that affects everyone? That's the foreigner culture. Everyone is affected by foreigner penalties. You're either the same as me or you're different. I could maybe use that one. Same, 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 same. Already got vassal opinion, liege opinion. That's not going to help. Same, 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 opposite, same. We were using opinion if same religion. Same religion opinion. No, yeah. Same religion opinion. It's really too bad there isn't just something different religion opinion. 
Maybe I mean, maybe there is something very similar to it, but I don't see it. It looks like we're back at the top of the list now. Okay, just just to maybe, just maybe there's something in here, in one of those other files. Infidel opinion, isn't that what I'm already using? Yeah, it doesn't work. Oops. Oops. Same opinion. Oh! No, that wouldn't work. Zoroastrian. See, I wish... Where are these to find? Okay, I'm gonna just... I wanna find out. Because maybe... Just maybe the game will allow me to create my own. We want to find all in the entire directory of CK2. Find for me where Zoroastrian Opinion appears. And it should be in more than just this one file. And maybe I can... Maybe there's some way. Hopefully it's not hard-coded, meaning that it's it's in the EXE file. It's like in the game system. Maybe I can just create my own. Probably not. It's probably a waste of time. But, I mean, they have stuff that's really specific. Christian opinion, Zoroastrian opinion. Like, come on. Where's that stuff at? Oh. Alright, so there's the change log. Added Zoroastrian to traits. Uh, some of these things were just exported. See, when they say added to traits, that means they're exporting them. That means that they are, they're part of the actual exe file. <laughs> this is, this is Notepad++ trying to open up the actual exe file. Nice. Good luck, buddy. Keep trying. Okay, so it's hard coded. I can't change it. Um, let's, sh let's search the change log maybe for opinion to see what other ones they've added. Oops. Oh, whoa, 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 back, back. What was that? Opinion diff. What is that? Hmm. No, I don't think that's going to work. Hmm. Well, apparently that's it. These appear to be the only ones that really got exported. Christian Church Opinion... I can't really use those. Okay, so if we can't use those and infidel opinion doesn't work, for now let's just get rid of them because who knows what it's actually doing. It's probably affecting heretics and zealous people or something right now. Um, I don't know. I think I'm going to take a break and think about it a bit. Maybe we can come up with another way to do it, but at least for the moment, it does work. We've got a we've got a functional icon. Oh, there is one thing I want to test real quick, though. One thing we could test pretty quickly. Um, I'm gonna need to know a couple cheat codes. Yeah, 
in order to create children instantly, I want to check the inheritability of the trait. All right, so pollinate. Yeah, we can use the pollinate cheat. Okay, so we use the ruler designer. We pick a game difficulty for fun. We'll just ah, interesting. It actually costs less now because I took off that other that other function of it. We'll take very hard. And so there's our trait, game difficulty very hard. Everyone is pissed off at me because of the game difficulty. That's good. Let's go ahead and get married real quick. The game is actually kind of... This windowed mode thing is not good. Let's get married real quick. Um, open up the console. We'll type char info one, and I need to do what is it again? Pollinate. Pollinate space female character ID male character ID. All right, so pollinate female character ID. It's one six three one seven six space male character ID is five zero five eight eight six. Hildegard Carling has been impregnated. Wonderful. So, we have to wait a bit, but let's just run the game. Yeah, there she is. There's the event to get her pregnant. And let's just see. Now, the problem is that, remember, we use the Saeed trait to, to test this, so it should be patrilineally descended, meaning that he inherited it. Perfect. The problem is that if it was a girl, she would inherit it, right? Patrilineally descended. The problem is that if you ever play as a female character, the game difficulty would fall off because it's not inheritable through women. So that's kind of the next enlisted thing to do. So okay, so the inheritance does work. Let's go back to my notes. And so we've got the trait, got the icon. We need to work on um, different religion opinions, or different opinion modifier. We also need to work on matrilineal... Lineal. Um, inheritance. And those are the things to work on. So, I'm going to take a break though. Hopefully, um, if you've watched this whole video, you've enjoyed it. Um, you can see that modding is, is a trial and error process. It, I think it's kind of fun. I like doing stuff like this. It's a lot of fun for me. Um, but basically, if you're interested in making mods, all you have to do is just get started. I mean, wear big, huge mods like The Prince and the Thane or Project Balance or or uh, CK2 Plus, where those came from is people just just starting and just making small changes to the game over time and they just constantly kind of build it up and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger until it's its own its own thing. So, alright, well I'm going to take a break, so thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again in the next video. See you later.